Sup guys, welcome to the day 6 of my 7 days series for fixing your life. Today we will be talking about masculinity. So this is obviously for my male audience and I will tell you every single thing I did to help me become more masculine. To grow a bigger beard and to feel more masculine. To have more masculine energy inside of me. So I will tell you every single th thing that helped me do this. So let's begin. I won't uh, be explaining all of these things in detail because I have talked about most of these things uh, earlier on my channel and you probably know all of these things already. I will just remind you of that. So the first thing definitely is working out, obviously, like working out, but resistance training, not just cardio. I don't really do cardio, but uh, resistance training for strength, for building muscle. So building muscle, that's really important. Building a great physique. So just work out and build muscle build a Greek god body. The second thing that uh, helped me be more masculine is eating clean. So you now you might think uh, how does eating clean even relate to uh, to being more masculine. So a shitty food, sugary food, uh, lowers your t testosterone. So really if you are eating clean you are more disciplined because you are able to eat clean even when you have urges and plus you are not eating some food that is lowering your testosterone. So uh, foods that lower your testosterone are maybe soy, uh, some different uh, sugary things and some things, some things like that. But whole foods in general will increase your testosterone, especially healthy fats and protein and stuff like that. But healthy fats especially. And obviously you need some carbs, but some healthy carbs like maybe potatoes and stuff like that. Okay, so other things that are really important are obviously good sleep. So... Uh, you need to sleep more because you will have higher testosterone and higher testosterone means uh, you'll be more masculine. The other things you will do is obviously uh, get a shorter haircut. So if you want to look more masculine, feel more masculine, you will, uh, you will either shave your head or get a buzz cut or something like that. Because you will look more masculine compared to if I had like a curly hair that's like up to here, obviously. The next thing will be grow a beard if you can. If you can't, fair enough, just wait. You will be able to do it one day if you listen to my next video, which will be about 17 ways to boost your testosterone naturally. And that will help to, you know, that will help you to grow a beard. Because I didn't have a beard before I did those 17 things. Okay, uh, the next thing is that you can do something like this with the eyebrow. It will make you seem more masculine. But it isn't really something important. Uh, the next thing, which is really fucking important and nobody talks about it, is actually stoicism. So, masculinity is not shouting when you are arguing with someone. You are arguing with someone and you are shouting, you are, you are mad, you want to destroy something. That's not masculinity. That's actually feminine energy. Because feminine energy is chaotic and masculine energy is focused. So, that's the main difference. So, if you are like shouting, uh, trying to destroy something... You are feminine, you are not masculine. Even Andrew Tate, when he starts uh, shouting, like, uh, he is masculine because in the Pierce Morgan interview, you can see that he's really uh, not, he, uh, he did have everything in his control. So that's masculinity. It's not masculine for you to think, oh, I'm a beast, I'm gonna argue with this person, I'm gonna shout and stuff like that. Shouting is literally feminine energy. If you shout during an argument, it's feminine energy. So you will use stoicism to be more masculine because stoicism teaches you to control your emotions because if you are less emotional you will be more masculine obviously so you will use stoicism to be less emotional and you will seem more masculine a lot more masculine so and you will also feel a lot more masculine so that's really important uh, the next thing you can do to be more masculine is to hang uh, hang with friends that are masculine and Listen to podcasts and videos from people that are more masculine. So that's something you can that can help. The next thing that can help is hanging around with feminine girls or having a feminine girlfriend. That can help you a lot. But since I don't have that, I can't really tell you the benefits because I don't really have that currently or I never really had something like that. So, uh, so I mean, it can probably help, but I don't really know. Uh, the next thing that will help you is doing some things that that are challenging, like doing a cold shower every single morning, doing hard workouts, doing some workout challenges that make you feel like a winner when you do it. So some challenges like, 
the next thing that will help you be more masculine is competition. So you have a ton of different ways to compete with others, like you can even play chess, you can um, compete in sports, you, there is a ton of different ways to compete. You can literally compete even in school with the exams. Uh, the next thing uh, is taking up martial arts. So it will make you feel more masculine and it will make you look more masculine and uh, boost your testosterone and everything. Just take up martial arts. So I took up MMA about a month ago and I am already noticing some benefits of it. So just take up martial arts. That's something to really, it's like obvious. Just take up martial arts, please. Uh, the next thing I can mention is NoFap. So if you are not wasting away your, uh, literally your masculine energy through just jerking off, you will obviously have the more energy inside of you. So if you want to be more masculine, just go on to semen retention, go on to NoFap. Don't, don't uh, castrate yourself. And some other things I can tell you is also listening to some motivating music. If you are listening to motivating music compared to some soy boy music like K-pop, you will be more masculine, obviously. So it that also can help. You can also use some affirmations to uh, help you be more masculine, but it's not something that I do. So you can do it, you don't need to. Yeah. The really important thing I forgot to mention earlier is setting goals. So if you set goals and have a system that's um, getting you to achieve those goals, that's something really masculine. So that's something really important. So uh, mostly the most important uh, traits uh, of masculinity are discipline, setting goals, not being uh, emotional. I mean, you can still feel emotions, but you are not emotional. You are not uh, doing anything because of your emotions uh, and uh, being stoic. And these things are mostly like masculinity, nothing too special. Nothing too uh, hard. You should probably read the book The Way of the Superior Man if you want to um, learn more about masculinity and all of these things because it's really an incredible book. You can also read Hard Times Create Strong Men, but I haven't read that book, so I can't tell you if it's good or not. But yeah, that's pretty much it about some of these things I remembered so far. I will think about now if I can remember any of some different things. So definitely like also like please just uh delete video games like don't play video games because if you're playing video games it gives you a full sense of competition full sense of progress so if you get rid of video games you will need to make that progress in real life which will make you be a lot more masculine and the uh, last thing i will mention is just uh, taking responsibility so you need to take responsibility for everything in your life so if you are fat if you make a mistake, if you do something stupid, just take full responsibility for that. Because taking responsibility is a masculine thing. So if you take full responsibility for every single thing you do, you will be more masculine. And I agree with Hamza that when you take responsibility for your life, you will get a beard. Like it's something, It's it seems wishy-washy like bro science and stuff like that, but it's something that worked for me. <laughs> like when I took responsibility for my life, I started growing my beard, so yeah, definitely something to think about. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it on how to be more masculine. Uh, the next video will be uh, the most important video in this series. It will be how to triple your testosterone. It will be related to this video because some of the things I told you in this video uh, uh, will be said in the next video because... Uh, some of the things that are making you more masculine are obviously giving you more testosterone. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. See you guys tomorrow in the final video of this series. Yeah guys, see you in the next video.